part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. I'm from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Heartless Reanimator and Frights. Kenneth was on the play for this game and started off by laying down a planes and using it to cast a Neil Spellbomb. Harrison then put a rootbound crag in the play tapped. Kenneth then laid down a mountain and played a second spell bomb, then Harrison played a Birds of Paradise and laid down a Black Cleave Cliffs. Then Kenneth played a Shimmering Grotto and put a Heartless Summoning into play. For Harrison's next turn, he started off by using an Ancient Grudge to destroy one of the Neil spell bombs. Kenneth sacrificed it in response, so in response to the sacrifice, Harrison went ahead and flashed it back to destroy the other spell bomb. Kenneth just put a cliff top retreats into play on his turn, then Harrison laid down a forest and played Tracker's Instincts to find himself a creature. He then played a Land of War Elves and passed the turn. Kenneth played a tap to drown Catacomb on his turn, then used a Whip Flare to kill both of Harrison's creatures. Harrison then started off his next turn by playing a Mulch and hit the jackpot, finding himself four lands. He then laid down a Sun Petal Grove and played a second Tracker's Instincts to find himself another creature. Kenneth was unfortunately only drawing land, so just played a Sulphur Falls and passed. Then Harrison played a Lingering Souls and got himself two Spirits and then put a Dark Silk Shores and a Play Tapped. Kenneth then just played an island and passed again. Harrison then flashed back one of his Tracker's Instincts and found himself another creature. He then put a Copper Line Gorge in a Play Tapped and then attacked with his two Spirits, dropping Kenneth to 18. In post-combat, Harrison flashed back his Lingering Souls to get two more Spirits. Kenneth drew land yet again and just laid down a Swamp. Harrison then attacked with his four Spirits, dropping Kenneth down to 14. Then post-combat, he played an Inferno Titan and dropped him to 11. Kenneth only drew a second Heartless Summoning and was dead on board, so went ahead and scooped it up, giving Harrison the win to the game and the match. So unfortunately, this game was a little bit one-sided, but I hope you all enjoyed it anyway. You can find the full version and the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.